My name is Kevin Kobach. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. We're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. Uh, Dwayne Kessinger. I'm N Nicole's father. And Nicole, can you just introduce yourself for the recording? Nicole Kessinger. Um, all right. We can move past that. Um, the week that he comes back from North Carolina... You, you don't remember, somewhere in the first couple of weeks of August. Yeah, I think it was the second week, but I don't remember off the top of my head. So we'll just use August as a time frame. Is that fair? Because you know he left in July and he comes back in August. How many times do you think you see him? I saw him a few times. I saw him this past Saturday. I saw him the Wednesday before that. And he wanted to see me more. I was the only one in my space. I was like, nope. Your kids are home. Go hang out with your kids. It's always like really Do you know specifically where you guys went? Did you meet at your house? Did you guys go to uh, uh -huh. any restaurants? Did you go to establishments? Um, last Wednesday, he came to my house. And this past Saturday, we went to the Lazy Dog. Did he ever mention a Rockies game that night? The Broncos were playing. You went, do you recall what time you went there? Mm. No. I remember. Well, kind of. So, he had to get a babysitter that night, and she doesn't do overnights, so i got to be back by 10. And I I don't know what time he got to my house. It was between, I want to say, like, 5.30. It might have been 5. But, and then he had to be back by 10, so he left at, like, 9-something to be back by 10. So, how did he pick you up? What was he driving? No, he didn't pick me up. He came to my house. We drove my truck. Um, Off the top of my head, I don't remember. He usually drives that Lexus. But he doesn't always park it in my complex. What kind of truck do you drive? I drive a uh, Toyota 4Runner. Okay. It's just where, where, where were you inside we the were, When you walk in, you just hang a right, and we were like one of the first two booths on the right when you walk in the door. And we actually went to the other Lazy Dog. We went to the one that you and me go to. Where's that at? Federal? It's 120th and Federal, and we went there, and they have a different menu, and I was like, I don't want to eat this food. Uh, kind of, sort of. They were, like, cleaning off a table, and we were standing there, just kind of looking at the beer menu and the food menu, and I was like, I don't want this. Six o'clock? Probably, somewhere around there, six, 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 and we ate dinner. And you're in, like, first or second booth, right uh -huh. to the right of the door, and you're there for how long? Uh, I don't know. Probably, we didn't stay for dessert, so, I don't know. How long's the restaurant I'll take? Like, an hour and a half? And then, uh, we went back to my house for a little bit, hung out at my house, um for a little while, and then he had to leave. Do you recall what time he left? I was out my head, no. I remember he was like gonna be late to be back at 10. I think there's a text message where he starts texting me when he's home at his house. Um, but I think he was still like a little late coming back, but nothing too drastic. So he probably left my house like somewhere around 9.30ish. And you know, he goes straight home, he texts you. Um... Well, I was already home. Right, no, he texts you. He goes straight home from your house, and he texts you that he's home. Mm -hmm. So that should be your text. It, it should be. I'm pretty positive that was not a phone call. I'm almost positive that was a text. Sometimes I get them flip flop. Saturday during your dinner, um, what, what kind of conversation did you guys have? Uh, I don't even remember. Oh, I, uh, so he's been trying to, like, eat a little healthier than he normally does and he's always like been in the working out since i knew him just like day-to-day -day general maintenance but it's how i eat and it's pretty healthy i want to say like 13 pounds in the time that we were hanging out it's not something that's like that drastic to me but it did stand out that it was like a little much and so i was like whoa like maybe you're not eating enough oh let me look at them so he had been working on his my fitness pal app i'm like programming like all the stuff he eats and I just started going through them and I was like trying to figure out like where his ratios were and we actually spent a lot of time doing that because he'd asked me to do it for him but Did I you just have any other outside concerns like potential drug use alcohol use any of that stuff that that led you to go hey he's lost an extreme amount of weight in such a short period of time I mean I, when I first started working out I dropped like 12 pounds in two weeks when I first first started like hitting it hard with the diet so the fact that he lost like that much weight it wasn't like I said it was it was not a surprising amount I just didn't want it to be like a sustained amount his macros were like 
pretty dialed in. Like, I wrote them and then, but his calorie intake was about where it needed to be. So that was your main conversation Saturday? That was like a big chunk while we were there is like us actually going through. Because I was like going through each item like, why do you have, why are your ratios off? Do you know where his kids or wife were that night? On Saturday? Yeah, his kid. Well, you know his kids are with the babysitter. Do you know where his wife is? She's in Arizona. Do you know what she's doing there? I think she's on a business trip. He didn't even tell me right away. He actually told me, I think, like, on Saturday. But I don't, I honestly don't remember. I just remember I was, like, really surprised where he's like, hey, like, I'm going to try to get a babysitter if you want to hang out or something like that. And I was like, why do you need a babysitter? Like, your wife's home. He's like, no, she's out of town. Is there much conversation regarding that, her on being on a trip, or the children on during those conversations? Not really. I just asked him what time she was coming home on Sunday, and he just said really late. And that was it. I mean, there's nothing really to talk about with that. And then you talked to him for um, a few hours on Sunday. Did I? Are you asking me or are you telling me? I'm asking you. Oh, I was like, (laughs) I don't even know. Someday, honestly, oh, on, so, wait a minute. That was Saturday. This is the, we're talking about Saturday. We're not talking about Sunday, right? That was the day that he got the babysitter and I went out to dinner, not Sunday. Okay. Okay, sorry, I just want to make sure you got your dates right. So Saturday, yes, we went out, he had the babysitter, he went home. I'm sure we did. We always talk on the phone. And honestly, I mean, Mark asked me that the other day. He's like, how long are you on the phone? 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Like, you're going to have to look at the records, to be honest with you. Like, I so much. You like to talk. I can tell a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. (laughs) 400, when she was young, she cranked out about 400 words a minute. Gus is up to 600. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. You're a talker, so I'm, I'm letting you talk. I need um, to use a restroom if I can get you words out. Can you so, need some water while you're out there with sure. him, Thank you. Another bottle? Let's, yeah, at least one. Let's move to Sunday. Sunday right? Well, okay. let me reverse something. Your conversation with the children, or about the children, was there ever any talk about medical concerns with either of the children? Well, I know Cece is allergic to... Not peanuts. Did they take meds? Yeah, I know that she had like an EpiPen, but as far as I know, she didn't have any meds, but I never asked. Like, I was just told, like, she has a pretty severe allergy. and Enough to carry an EpiPen, that's pretty severe. Yeah, while we're on this, so when he was in North Carolina, um, this is all like hearsay now because it's like, this is not a conversation. Like, he's telling me this stuff, but who knows exactly what happened. But he went out there to go see his family and her family. And while he was in town, before he went out to North Carolina, I guess his mother had accidentally, like, not exposed her to something with nuts, but had, like, given a product, I think it was like ice cream, to a different kid that could have traces of nuts or something. I don't know. But it was like his daughter was fine, but she was like in the range of contamination. And I think his wife was very upset about that. But he said that he went to go see his family and they weren't answering the phone for like a day or two before he went out there. And then when he got there, there was a note on the door that said, uh, son, if you step by, we're at the beach. And they ignored him for, like, most of the time that he was out there. And His own family? Yes. His mom, his dad, and his sister. Do you, know, do you know why? Yeah. He said, and again, I don't know what is true with this man anymore and what's not, but he told me that, like, leading up to it, I was like, well, why are your folks, like, ignoring you? And I was, like, really concerned about this. Like, every single day he would talk to me when he was out there. And I was like, you talked to your family today? You talked to your family today? Did you talk to your dad? What happened? Did you talk to him? No, I didn't. Or, yeah, I talked to my mom. Well, what'd she say? Are you going to hang out with him? Like, I wanted him to see his people because it's important. Family is an important thing. You know, it just needs to function properly. And sure. And he was like, well, they're ignoring me. And I was like, what do you think happened? And he was like, I'm not really sure. He told me that his mom and his wife did not get along at all. He said that his mom didn't even show up to his wedding because she's, like, really did not care for Shanann. So, again, I don't know what's true and what's not, but I just know that there was, like, some tension. That part is, like, I feel like it's almost third part. Maybe she, yeah, I don't know. Well, and then um, he ended up seeing them on the last, like, full day that he was there. And they told him, supposedly, that she had gotten really upset and then screamed and yelled in front of his 
Chris's sister's kids that are very young and to his mom and to his dad and said, like, you're never going to see Chris again. You're never going to see me. You're never going to see the babies and just, like, threatened them and then, like, walked off. And I guess that was the incident that happened prior to him coming out there. And then she didn't tell him about it. Mm. She just, like, let it go. And then he just spent all week trying to figure out why his family was, like... Mm. not trying to be involved no i've like read in the newspaper they keep saying oh she had medical conditions and i'm like is that a misprint are they talking about cc or is that just something else i don't know so you don't know anything about nope. uh Shanann having any kind of medical problem okay, so there's a phone call saturday night actually um from no, it can't be saturday it had to be sunday i wrote that down quickly sunday night is there anything else you think let's let me just back up from that Saturday where you guys had a meal at, at the Lazy Dog to prior for the six weeks that you guys were serious? I mean, when he was with me, I considered it to be fairly healthy. And it was what I thought was honest. Like, any time that his kids could be in, like, his life for a hours or days or whatever, whenever they were home, I made sure that I wasn't a presence in his life so that he could be the best dad that he needed to be. Um, and, I mean, I thought what we had, it was very comfortable for me. I enjoyed it. I think he did very much as well. So you're, you're pretty serious. Um, did, did he ever tell you that he loved you? Yes, he did. Did you ever tell him the same? A couple times. Mon Sunday into Monday or Monday, did you, did you still love him on those days? I think it was something where it was like I, I said it a few times and I meant it, but he definitely felt the urge to say it to me a lot more than I did to him because it was just all very new to me. And I was like, take your time with this. Like, you don't need to, to like, rush that, you know? Like, I remember when he was in North Carolina and he was, like, trying to patch things up with his wife and he told me he loved me. And I was like, don't say that to me. Like... <laughs> Please go try to fit. And I mean, and that might even be in the text too. Where it's like, don't, don't, like, don't say those words to me and then go try to make peace with your wife and lay in bed with another woman. Like, just don't do that. And I was like, it's not that I don't appreciate what you're saying to me. It's like, just it's like an insecurity where you had to say that to you. Or? I, I don't know. I think he, he like, uh, looking back at all this now, I don't think he was trying to fix things with her. So saying, I love you to me, seemed like probably something that he genuinely meant. Like, I love this woman. And regardless of where he was going to end up that night. But to me, in the way that I was perceiving things, he had told me that he was trying to fix things with her. So it's just like, this is an inappropriate time. And I wasn't mad at him. And I'm pretty sure that's in the text, too, where it was very, like, calm. But it's just like it's almost disrespectful where it's like, please don't. I'm like, you know, if we get to that point where it is you and me, like, yes, you can say that. You thought he was very genuine when he said that. I, yeah, I did. I mean, and he wrote it. It's in all those cards I gave you. When you said it to him, you said you meant it when you said it. Yes, I just didn't say it's frequent as he said it. Like, sometimes he would say it, and I was just like, for me, it was still, like, very, very new, so I kind of, like, took my time and only said it when I was just like, this is a really important moment so you got i mean in the short period of time that you guys were together he yes well, became very attached to you yes very very I mean, he's attached. sending cards flowers he's telling you he loves you he sends you flowers does he buy you any other gifts well, i wouldn't have wanted them anyways that's flowers is enough you can't <laughs> i don't need expensive stuff okay. you guys are talking multiple times a day at least you're full frank, time you're seeing each other on a regular basis yep uh, and, and his wife is not around, nor are his children, so there's a lot of time for you guys to build your relationship in this first four four weeks or so. Is that fair? Yeah, and even when she, she was back, I mean, it was still like we were still spending time together. He was still spending time with his children, and I had my own life. Like, I mean, there was one week where I just, like, went out of town for my with my friends for my birthday. I wasn't even around the whole, like last few days of June up until the 3rd of July. I was, like, gone, you know? And then there was another, like, a f last weekend, I had a friend impromptu come in town from out of state, and I hosted her uh, for a few days. And it's like it... Like, I still did my own thing all the time. Like, whether he was there or not, like, if my friends were like, hey, we want to make plans, I would tell him, like, we're not hanging out today because I want to go see my mom or my dad. Did your friends know about him? Nope. Why? Because it's like he's 
with two women right now.